Hello everyone, my name is Isaiah, and my research question is folic acid supplementation and the prevention of neurotube defects. What I will go over in this video is what is folic acid, also known as FA, what are neurotube defects, also known as NTDs, and how folic acid is connected with neurotube defects and the prevention of neurotube defects, and my conclusion. What is folate acid? Folate acid, also known as vitamin B9, is the monoglutamate form of folate that is naturally found in some foods and are also found in supplements and fortified foods. It plays a key role in forming DNA and RNA. It is crucial for breaking down homocysteine, it is important to produce healthy red blood cells, and very important during periods of rapid growth like pregnancy or fetal development. Remember this last point because it will be important later on in the video. Sources of folate include leafy vegetables, dark green leafy vegetables especially, fruits, whole grains, beans, nuts, and various animal products such as fish and meat. What are neurotube defects? Neurotube defects occur when the neurotube does not close properly. The neurotube forms the early brain and spine during fetal development. These defects develop very early on in pregnancy, even before a woman knows they are pregnant. The two most common neurotube defects are spina bifida and anencephaly. How is folic acid connected to neurotube defects? As mentioned before, folic acid is important during periods of rapid growth, which includes pregnancy. A deficiency in folic acid for women of childbearing age can put their baby at risk for development neurotube defects if they plan on becoming pregnant. But how can we prevent neurotube defects with folate acid? With proper supplementation of folate acid and or proper nutrition, sufficient levels of folate acid can be achieved in order to prevent neurotube defects for women of childbearing age. However, what is the range of folate acid that you should be consuming on a daily basis? Do women of different backgrounds and lifestyle require different amounts of folate acid when supplementing? I'll be going over a few studies that I found to help answer these questions. A study conducted a 40-week intervention on 119 women participants where they compared a supplementation of 400 micrograms per day of folate acid to a supplementation of 140 micrograms per day of folate acid in preventing neurotube defects. After the 40-week intervention, they collected the blood samples for, from both groups and found that each group had similar red blood cell folate concentration in order to prevent neurotube defects. There is the study listed below if you want to search after this video. Another study was conducted after the introduction of the USA for a folate acid fortification program to analyze the concentration of folate acid within women of different lifestyle factors and races who were of childbearing age. After blood samples were collected from the women who participated in the study, the study concluded that women who were African American, as well as women who were smokers, were less likely to achieve neurotube defects protective concentration of red blood cells. Finally, another study wanted to assess the effectiveness of preventing neurotube defects by giving out fortified flour in high-risk regions 
and China. They selected 11 villages who would receive the fortified flower and three villages who would receive regular flower. Women who were from the villages that received fortified flour had high concentration of folic acid compared to those from villages that received regular flour. Prevalence of neurotube defects was significantly lower in villages who received fortified flour. So all this information that I just told you, evidence from these studies, what does it all mean? It means that if you would like to supplement with folate acid to achieve concentration of folate acid to prevent neurotube defects, aim for a range between 140 micrograms per day to 400 micrograms per day. Women who are, are African American as well as smokers should increase their folate acid consumption. And you should opt in for foods that are fortified with folic acid to help significantly reduce the risk of neurotube defects if you are a woman of childbearing age. In conclusion, if you are a woman and are planning on having children soon, it is important that you, are, that you supplement on folic acid or consume foods fortified with folic acid in order to ensure prevention of neurotube defects for your baby. Even if you are a man, educate yourself and inform your partner about the importance of folic acid if you plan to have a baby. I strongly recommend you do more research and keep up to date on this topic since new findings can come out any day. Here is the list of studies that I've used. And I would like to thank you all for watching.